श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम द वर्ल्ड बिगिन्स विथ द साउंड एंड द वर्ल्ड एंड्स इन द साइलेंस that sound which keeps us in the sound is the theme of the worldly things and that sound which takes us beyond the sound into the silence is the divine sound and therefore mantra is not only chanted at a physical level as we have seen but it also helps us become contemplative introvert and ultimately discover the truth through the chanting of the mantra therefore <clears throat> it is not only a mechanical chanting of om namo shivaya that will help us but also understanding so there are a few beautiful verses i will read them for you and also tell you in short the meaning of this mantras how they make us more and more sub- subjective and contemplative snatam te na samasta tirth salile datta cha sarva vanih yajnanam cha sahasra mishtam akhila deva cha sampujitaha संसाराच समुद्धृता स्वितरस्त्रैलोक्य पूज्योप्यसौ यम विचारण क्षण स्थर्य मन प्राप्नुया ही हु स्पेन्ड्स इवन अ मोमेंट इन इज लाइफ कॉन्टेम्प्लेटिंग ऑन द एब्सल्यूट रियालिटी he is now compared with what snatam tena samasta tirtha salile he has taken the holy baths in all the holy bathing places in the whole world datta cha sarva avanihi and he has donated the whole world that much of merit he has acquired यज्ञानाम च सहस्रमिष्टमखिला एंड ही हैज ऑल्सो परफॉर्म थाउजंड्स ऑफ यज्ञास एंड अखिला देवाश्च संपूजिता एंड ही हैज वर्शिप ऑल द गॉड्स इन द होल यूनिवर्स एंड फर्दर संसाराच समुद्रुता स्वपितर एंड ही हैज fulfilled his duty towards his elders his parents his grandparents it is said according to hindu religion that the children are produced not for fulfilling one's lust or desire as a by product of that enjoyment no children are produced so that they help us grow in the spiritual life so he who is contemplating on the lord he has completed that also and trilokya pujo pesau and he is worthy of worship in all the three world who is this person yasya brahma vicharane kshanam api sthairyam manaha he who spends even few moments on contemplation on the truth See how important it is, and to help us contemplate on the truth, we have to again and again practice it. And therefore, japa sadhana is not only chanting the Lord's name, 
but also if you can chant bhagavad gita different stotras if you cannot chant listen to them so slowly slowly the mind becomes introvert and we are able to help you know the beauty of the sanskrit language is even if we don't understand the meaning yet it being a scientific language it will have its impact even without understanding the meaning further kulam pavitram janani krutartha vishvam bhara punyavati chate na apar samit sukha sagare smin leenam pare brahmani yasya chetaha to he whose mind is absorbed in the supreme blissful self he has sanctified his family not only family but the whole Uh, tree of family he his parents his parents parents his parents 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 everyone is fulfilled further the mother is uh, the mother finds fulfillment when she sees that her child has discovered the truth you just imagine you happen to meet the mother of swami vivekananda just imagine and you talk to her what do you feel about your uh, son or when you talk about the greatness of swami vivekananda how fulfilled that mother will feel the purpose of our life is to give happiness to the parents because they have given us the body living only for oneself i and myself and i and my wife my children that is not the way janani krutartha and vishvam bhara punyavati chate na and because of such a person wherever such a person is there that becomes a holy place therefore all our efforts and life is fulfilled only under one condition and that we come to know our essential nature all other achievements in this world are meaningless how many people were born how many grew how many got married how many produced children how much money earned everything is leveled but those who are established in the truth they alone are able to maintain this beautiful world sampurnam jagadeva nandanavam nandanavanam sarve pi kalpadrumah gangam vari samasta vari nivaha पुण्या समस्ता क्रिया वाच प्राकृत संस्कृता श्रुतिशिरो वाराणसी मेदिनी सर्वावस्थितिर वस्तु विषया दृष्टे परे ब्रह्मणी ही हु हैज डिस्कवर्ड दिस एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ फॉर हिम द होल वर्ल्ड इज हेवन सी वी डोंट हैव टू गो टू हेवन through some agents you book your seat in the heaven no then all the trees are the kalpa vriksha that means there is no more desire in the mind of such a person every source of water is ganges and all his activities are the divine activities whatever he speaks is the statement of scriptures and for him the whole world is varanasi and in every state he is established in the divine self and for achieving this we are told that we have to chant the lord's name therefore bhagwan shankara acharya wrote a beautiful stotra 
with four verses and in these four verses he has urged he has requested he has prayed to whom to god uh, to his own tongue he is you know requesting oh my dear tongue chant om namah shivaya mat priya sakhi mat jivve mai anukampam kurushva naumi tvam oh my dear tongue i love you and for my sake have pity on me have compassion on me i salute thee what do you want the arrogant tongue tells the seeker anyapavad rahita bhaj satatam om namah shivaya iti anya apavad rahita stop finding out faults of the world see don't talk anything about anybody there is a saying in sanskrit language which tells if there is even this much of something wrong with somebody we dilate we make it big and even if everything is wrong with us yet we hide and glorify therefore here the teacher says the first place where our tongue goes away from the <coughs> lord he is anya apavad anya apavad means never condemning anybody never talking ill about anybody never discussing the things which are not meaningful to our spiritual practice then what should i do om namah shivaya iti satatam bhaja keep on chanting om namah shivaya om namah shivaya that was the technique yesterday i told you all to do so we keep on doing whatever we are told and then actions are going on and our mind is in om namah shivaya this practice we have to consciously do it as much we talk to ourselves we don't talk to anybody in the world therefore it is one of the most simplest method of chanting lord's name in and through all our activities one technique i'll tell you try if you can this i learned from one mahatma these things you will not get in books he told me he said you should be greedy as regard chanting the lord's name is concerned how come he said you try to see that how much more time you can spend in remembering the lord then he gave this technique he said morning you get up do you brush i said yes then make a rule to yourself the moment you take the uh, toothbrush toothpaste from then onward start chanting om namah shivaya 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 suppose you go on brushing for 5 minutes do it consciously for one week after that it will automatically happen so out of 24 hours now 5 minutes are booked for remembering the lord see how beautiful the technique is then suppose you have every day certain things as mechanical you have to do such as making the bed or vacuum or taking bath or cutting the vegetables not the finger 
so again and again during these activities keep on chanting the lord's name when you are walking with the steps you can chant lord's name the simple technique is wherever there is a rhythm you fix that rhythm with the lord's name you must have done it as a child if you have gone in train in train there is a rhythm when the train start khat 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 that that rhythm you fix any sentence it fits i am going home to see my mom then i am going home to see my mom i am going home to see my mom it automatically comes similarly fix it with the lord's name om namo shivaya om namo shivaya om namo shivaya it will come slowly 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 in this manner increase more and more how much time you spend in chanting lord's name and when you do that your tongue will be busy in chanting the lord's name and not discuss unwanted things with the world or gossip columns no therefore anya apavad rahita bhajat bhaja satatam om namah shivaya iti now this is a prayer to our own tongue she never listens to us keep on talking all rubbish in the whole universe then bhagwan shankara acharya again chants vaani gunanu nilaye tvam vande mam kurushva paranindam tyaja sakal loka vartam bhaja satata om namah shivaye ti my dear speech all the great qualities associated with the speech which are those it has got a strength it has got beauty it has got sweetness it is associated with the truth these are the positive qualities of speech so you kindly invoke them they are in you therefore i vande tvam i salute to thee then paraninda ma kurushva do not talk ill about anybody it is so important friends you know why it is important when we talk ill about somebody that illness first enter our mind see suppose i hate a particular person and i decide i will not allow him to come to my house i hate him very good hate you may not allow him to come to your house but he is already in your heart because where is the hatred whom sure we hate that person or thing is in our heart that is why you know those who are for example vegetarian and they hate non vegetarian with remembrance the vegetarian food will not go in our mind but with hatred the chicken will enter our system because the force of hatred is stronger than the force of liking therefore ma kurushva paranindam then tyaja sakal loka vartam and also let us not go on evaluating judging the people in this world we fix our attention on our own spiritual practice and what is the spiritual practice keep the tongue busy as i told you one of my amma she is so cheerful and happy right from childhood god's gift she constantly keeps on chanting not necessarily om namo shivaya but she knows so many things by heart so she keeps on chanting something or the other that is why when our speech is busy with the lord's name it will stop all other things discussions then the third area our tongue is busy katu amla lavana tikta swadu kashayadi sarvara savancham 
जिव्ये विहाय भक्त्या भज सतत ओम नम शिवाय माय डियर टंग हाउ मच यू आर रनिंग आफ्टर टेस्टी फूड यू वॉन्ट स्पाइसी यू वॉन्ट सावर यू वॉन्ट लॉट ऑफ सॉल्ट यू लाइक यू नो दैट करेला एंड देन यू लाइक स्वीट एंड देन यू लाइक यू नो दैट माउथ बर्निंग विस्की इज एन ऑल दैट नाउ इनफ ऑफ इट इनफ fix yourself in chanting the lord's name once you get the taste of the lord's name all other ras taste will disappear therefore oh my dear tongue for god's sake for my sake please keep on chanting om namah shivaya iti rasane rachito yam anjali ste par ninda par श्री अलम वचो दुरीतापह नम शिवाय उमादी प्रणव भजस्व मंत्र ओ माय डियर टंग आई सैल्यूट यू अगेन एंड अगेन एंड आई है बेग ऑफ यू प्लीज स्टॉप कंडेमिंग अदर्स प्लीज स्टॉप टॉकिंग इल ऑफ अदर्स there is only one way that you can get rid of all the sins burn them into ashes and that is om namah shivaya this mantra and therefore oh my dear tongue please keep on chanting om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya in this manner we have to be convinced that this is the simple and the straight path to know the truth because lord's name is complete there is nothing lacking in that so when we say om namah shivaya is complete so before anything incomplete comes again bang om namah shivaya like that every day suppose you do one mala then spend more and more time on this so this should form the daily scheme of our spiritual practice first we must begin our day early in the morning there is nothing that can keep us dragging in the bed oh, is only 9 o'clock i can do 10 o'clock no those who sleep in the bed even after the sunrise they are born in the next life as bed bugs Oh, so I mean, that means I will be born guarantee. <laughs> so begin your day early in the morning. Very very important. After that you finish your morning A B C D, and then straight away take your mala and start chanting your japa. decide one mala per day do it for about a week or so then next time do two malas om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya and then your mind will start suggesting you you are wasting time what is all oh, no, this thing happens then what is to be done then start thinking about unwanted nonsense it is so tasty you know gossip column See, we have to discipline. So increase the number of malas. Then in our activities we do that. Then our regular study of scriptures or listening to whatever we have heard. And in this manner, when we start living, then as we have seen in this sutra, we don't get involved in anybody's life. 
we do not get uh, into any controversy we do our job sincerely cheerfully happily we do not react and we don't have self pity that is the worst kind of sin don't carry the load of guilt on the mind self pity is the highest sin self pity what is in german zeb smith light ha zeb smith light don't have it at all lead life of purity and sincerity it is so important any wrong thing we do for the first time there is a guilt second time we do it there is less guilt third time we do it even we don't recognize we have done something wrong fourth time onward we are habitual smokers habitual drunkards therefore right in the beginning itself we have to lead a life of awareness and in this manner our total life is lived in spiritual atmosphere then alone life becomes meaningful otherwise we think that the mahatmas who live everything they are mad no commitment and how this commitment will happen when we have recognized the importance of it whatever we have recognized as valuable we follow it up is a rule we have to give value to something for example to a child you give some glittering objects 10 of them and to the same child you give him uh, 100 euro notes five of them put together like this and select the child will select the glittering object because for him that is important in the same manner unless we have recognized the importance of chanting the lord's name we will never never do it sincerely to make this point understanding the importance once in one of my camps on management i have done this experiment because one person asked me this question what do you mean by importance yes we know we should chant the lord then what is the meaning of importance i said okay i'll tell you after a break okay we'll have no tea break and after that and after the break i had told one of the attendants there i said hey when my class begins you come half way then i'll scold you why you are come here then you tell swami ji you give me that 1000 uh, rupees so the remaining amount i am come to return because i don't want to give it to anybody afterwards you will scold me again i said okay how much is that then he will say this much i'll say okay keep it here no 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 you count it and then i'll start counting so this was all drama arranged and our class began and that boy came i scolded him and all that thing and then i started counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all the audience sitting they were also counting <laughs> and i purposely counted wrong after coming 20 26 28 uh, 30 uh, 42 43 40 swami ji you have made a mistake <laughs> they pointed out i said did i ask you to count my money <laughs> no swami ji Now why did you count? Anybody is counting money, we become single-pointed, is it not? Observe this, because we know if one mistake is made, a straight loss of hundred dollars. In the same manner, we simply put the hundred and eight beads mala, but what is the meaning of that hundred and eight beads? Every breathing, which is kriya shakti. 
and chanting the Lord's name, which is the Jnana Shakti knowledge, when action and knowledge, they merge together, we attain the highest Siddhis in life. Such Mahatmas, when they tell something, okay, it will be done. It will be done. It can't stop. See? Therefore, we have to first recognize the importance of this chanting the Lord's name. And then with this recognition, you will not be required to be told that you chant the Lord's name. That's why I am giving so much emphasis today on this. Otherwise, you know, initially one becomes very inspired. Like, you know, we had a Kaivalya Upanishad camp in uh, London. And then after that was over, so Swamiji, please give us, you know, chanting. And then I chanted for them. Om Madram Karnevi Srinayama Devaha Madram Bashema Kshabhirya Jatraha Tirai Rangai Stushtuvagam Sastanubihi Vyashema Devahi Tamyadayuhu And the whole Upanishad I chanted. For one day, two days, okay, and after that, oh God. Now I don't change. This kind of lack of commitment is the obstacle on the spiritual path. See? As much the air inside us has to be in touch with the air outside. Total air. As much the heat in us must be in touch with the total heat. As much the waters in us must be in touch with the total waters. That much the consciousness in us must be in touch with the total consciousness. That is the need. And this touch is established through chanting the Lord's name. And therefore, keep on chanting regularly. Do not justify, on this ground I have stopped chanting. No. You know what happens in our spiritual life? If we are in a hurry, the first victim is the spiritual practice. The rest of the things all are done. But when it comes to reading, chanting, meditation, that becomes a secondary thing and other things become primary. Ah, that we can do any time. Even if you don't do, how does it matter? Because the importance is not understood. Therefore, keep on chanting Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. I will chant loudly. And you chant along with me in your mind. Om Namah Shivaya 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 
ओम नमः शिवाय 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 ओम नमः
initially this type of doing japa in the way karivani helps us get our self collected away from the world and now the mind is available to us so after one or two or three malas then drop the mala and now we will be chanting for controlling the mind you simply listen when i am chanting say three times so you listen the sounds thereafter i'll keep mind quiet till another thought comes so you also join that you simply hear but do not allow any thought to come om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shiva we try to widen the silence silence has two aspects one is absence and second is presence in silence there is absence of sound but there is a presence of the self our attention or awareness be that of the presence in this manner keep on doing the japa sadhana lord will bless us पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ श्रीगुभ्यो नम